Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Nice and early, cool this morning. Well, I'm back on the smokehouse again. I got the door to build. Finish my batting out. Put my racks in there. And start curing it out, getting it ready to smoke. Looks like next week we got some cool weather coming. Finally making it down to Louisiana. It's supposed to be 28 degrees. I believe it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday morning. But it's finally cooling off. It'll be our first frost if we get a frost that day. It's been hot and cold, hot and cold, back and forth. But it's time for it to cool off a little bit. Guys, I'm fixing to go to the sawmill. And I got a little bit more cedar I need to cut up so I can finish this thing. <laughs> Guys, I'd usually try to cut it down a little bit more right here, but this log's not very uh, stable. It's wanting to twist on me and move with all these little knots sticking out. So I'm fixing to roll it again. Where are you going? Me. I heard the cows bellering. She's going back there to feed the hogs and feed the uh, cows.
edge piece that I'm going to save. Guys, I want to show you something on this board right here. Alright, see these little rips coming across here? Get real close to it. See them? That's rough. I see a lot of questions on uh, some of the pages of the sawmill. Why am I, why my mill's doing that? It's cutting straight, it's cutting flat, but it's got a little bad edge to it. We're, we're, we're making it rough looking. It's not the tension. It's not the uh, speed that I'm doing, that I'm cutting. It's the blade itself. The blade itself, what happened was I was backing up with this uh, blade the other day and it come off. When it come off, it caught the corner and it bent one of them tooth, one of them teeth. One of them tooth is hanging down a little bit. And I don't know which one it is because it's so minor. But that's what's causing that, that little bitty edge right there. It's really not hurting the boards at all. It's making it rough looking, which is really not bothering me for what, it, what I'm using it for. I don't want to change the blade right now because when I cut this one right here, I want to throw one of the pecans up here and cut it, try and get me some smoke wood out of it. Get it down so I can handle this. Handle, you know, get it down to size so I can put it in the smokehouse. But that's what that little rib is right there. <laughs> I got my boards all cut for sawmill. I'm fixing to go to the door and get an exact measurement what I need. Cause I'm gonna put two two by twelves and whatever the rest is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on the sawmill. It's a lot easier to cut here than bringing it in there on the table saw and cut it and all that. So I'm gonna do it right out here. Let me go get my measurements. Morning, and for the door and some extra bath. So he got the door on. And if you notice these big hinges, now you got to remember, we're doing a rustic style, western-like. And these are some old hinges that his daddy had had. And uh, so uh, we put them on the door. So what are we doing now? Uh, I'm fixing to put some leg bolts through there. Put some nuts on the back side. Tighten it down. I got a bat that goes in the center. I got the moon to put in here. And then I got a bat, a big wide bat that goes in the back side so I can make my cross brace in the back. That's what we're going to. Actually, cross brace goes in the front, but I got a solid piece that goes in the back. Well, how much more do we got before this is complete? I've got three more bats to put on the back. And then we're going to build a fire. 
And then that's it. So I got to build the racks and everything else in there. So are we looking at an all-day job or? Mm -hmm. Got to take a break. You can't work me all the time. Yeah. Next up, Butterfly's porch on her uh, saloon. Okay. Yes. She'll lie to you now. <laughs> no. I'm going to pop the whip. done so far we got the door on we got the moon you can see the smoke coming out the moon but I'm gonna we Todd's gonna put a back on this and the smoke won't be able to come but I just wanted him to leave it like this for right now and I'll show you why later so this is the door and whoo, you see that smoke coming out of there He's got a fire built in here because he's just trying to smoke it out and season the wood and stuff inside to get the cedar smell out. He's already got his racks hanging up here for his sausage to hang on. He's got some shelves built uh, for jerky and stuff in here. We will not be having a, a live fire like this in here. we are just got this in here to smoke it out. And he's still got to build the uh, box on the back side of this, and uh, which won't take him long to do because he's already got his stuff ready for that. And uh, But he is going to put a burner in here with a pot sitting on the burner to where he can put wet wood in and use a propane to uh, heat it up and to make smoke from the inside. So guys, that's what we got for right now. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hang on. <laughs> 